guys, it's Leela. So today I filmed this look. I just did the eye and the lip, but I think it came out really, really pretty. It's a really nice look if you're going to go out, like on the town for the summer, or if you guys have like an event to go to. It's really, really warm and smoky. It's very, very elegant, and I love the way they, it paired with these lashes. Um, and then I also showed you how to get this pout. I did do a gradient look, so that way you do have fuller looking lips. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, I already prepped and set my eyes, so I'm going to be going in with this ColourPop uh, little palette. I did buy them separately and then made my own palette, so I don't really remember the shade names. But I'm going to start with this peachy shade right here, and I'm just going to put that all over my crease. It's going to be my transition shade. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, the more like a little bit more orange shade, and I'm going to drag that into the crease as well, just so that we have um, a little bit of a darker crease. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Prism palette. I am going to be taking the shade Saturn right here, and I'm going to be using this like smaller, fluffier Kylie brush to work it into the lower part of the crease and onto my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and just make sure it's all blended and that way it's all very seamless. And then I'm going to go back in with this brush and I am going to be taking this like brick red shade right here and I'm going to take that all over the top of my eyelid. Again, taking the fluffy brush and just diffusing the colors together. And the last thing I am going to do is take a brush. This is a MAC 252 brush. I'm going to be taking, going back into the Anastasia Prism, I am going to be taking the shade Parallel. And I'm going to drag that all the way on the bottom, like across my um, lash line. That way it kind of gives that like smoky effect. And then I'm going to go in with liner over it so it'll follow the same line. And then I'm going to go back in with that same brush and blend the red and the brown together. Okay, and then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back into this palette. We're going to be taking this gold shade right here. It's called Pyramid. I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to rub it in and get it all coated. And then I'm going to put that on like the inner like third of my eye. Right, and then just for some more pigment, I am going to be taking a skinnier um, flat brush. I'm going to mist it with some setting spray just to pick up more of the pigment. And then we're going to dust it on top of that gold. All right, now I'm going to go in and with eyeliner. So usually when I do eyeliner, I actually only just do the wing. I don't take it all across my lid. So I'm going to probably stop it like right about here and then just take it out. So will be able to see me do that in just a second. All 
All right, and to finish off the eye look, I'm going to be taking another fluffy brush. I'm going to take some more of that brown shade and just drag it underneath. All right, for mascara today, we are going to be using the Damn Girl Mascara. I'm going to do one coat before I put my lashes on. So I'll be right back. All right, and then today for lashes, we're going to be using the Eyelore uh, X Jasmine Brown Lashes. I, like, absolutely live for these lashes, so... Okay, my lashes are on. I did put highlight right underneath my brow just to give it a little bit more pizzazz and I put some in the inner corner. Um, next is going to be the lip. So I am going to be taking my Kylie Iced Latte Liner and I'm going to pair it with my Huda Beauty Matte Lip in the shade Trendsetter. So I'm going to start by overlining my lips. That's going to make them look fuller. Um, you usually just want to take it like right underneath, like nothing too crazy where it's like super obvious, but like right where like the little crease of your line ends, just go right after that. Next, you go in with your lipstick of choice. Just put it all over, but leave the a little bit of the outline peeking through. That way you can see the dimension. That's what's gonna make your lips look bigger. Next, you wanna wait for it to dry down, but don't let it dry down all the way. You still want it to be a little bit wet when you put the concealer in the middle. Now I'm gonna take this e.l.f. concealer. I did buy it too light, so I'm gonna use this shade, and you just wanna dab a little bit in the center, and then I just use my finger to diffuse the rest of it. That way, you do have like a gradient effect. So just don't put too much. Okay guys, that's it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like the way this came out. Super, super smoky. And the gold moment in the middle, I just cannot get over it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.